We're really excited about the mural project as the first facet of our redevelopment of the uh, now College Park Shopping Center. So we renamed it from the old town and country. And uh, we're really looking at it as a catalytic uh, development and redevelopment for Arlington. So you may have seen the lifts from the Arlington Expressway lifting up the artists who are breathing life into an old shopping center. Eight artists in total are painting this huge mural showing the diversity of Arlington and Jacksonville. It's going to be just so cool. It's so colorful as well. Yeah. Content producer Abigail Curran spoke with them about their art and what inspires them to create. So the entire mural um, is going to end up spelling Arlington. I want to say what inspires me is my own fear because there are things that I'm afraid of to do. I never really thought that I would come this far to be doing something like this, so. Sorry. <laughs> Tatiana Kitchen hopes that her vision will inspire people to be more passionate. My mural is of my friend. Her name is Candace. I admire her because she definitely, I feel like, goes for her dreams. She goes for her goals and she gets there no matter what. And I hope that inspires them to want to do more in their lives, to be more passionate, to not be afraid to go out there and show their passion to the world. Ansley Randall just hopes the bright colors bring joy to people that pass by. So I'm the letter T out here, and I love like funky shapes and mid-century patterns. My dream was always to paint patterns large scale on a wall. For some of these artists, like Chris Clark, this is the biggest project of their careers so far came up with the idea to have a kid at the barbershop getting his hair cut in the shape of the letter R. An inspiration from his own youth. You know, the barbershop is always like a, um, it's almost like going to therapy. You talk about sports, talk about life. Nicole Holderbaum brought all these artists together. My mural is a portrait of Ebony Payne English. She is a professional writer and poet that lives and works here in Jacksonville. She has given so much of herself back to the youth of the city, which is really something that's going to impact our future. Like that's what we need in the city to like grow it and encourage each other. There is absolutely nothing stopping you from doing what you want to do except your own mind, which you can always overcome. In Arlington, Abigail Curran, First Coast News on your side.